okay, it is recording. All right, so, yeah, um, here we are. Um, we're in uh, new, near the new jungle biome. And uh, Headless has found a skeleton spawner. So you can see it's a skeleton spawner because there's a little skeleton spinning around inside there. I have to say it's nice that they don't look like pigs anymore because you can actually tell what's in the in the thing looking at the spawner. Anyway, so as you can see, he's probably disabled it. We're just going to have to ignore... Um, Skype squeaking away at me, but <coughs> Headless wants to make this into an XP machine. So, sorry, I'm just eating some tuna. So, that's what we're going to try and do. Now, I'm not sure but I had an idea yes I am in creative mode but as this is an experiment I feel vindicated right so hang on we go I'm just getting myself out with some things that I think I need right now you're sure that the skeletons that you've just been fighting are regular spawners they haven't just been there were two in. There were two in here. I put, killed them, put the torches on it, and I have. Then those ones, I don't know where they came from. Right. But it was dark when you got here. Okay, but in but this should be disabled unless they've changed yeah. the code in 1.2.3. Yeah. <coughs> okay. <laughs> So, I think the thing to... Let's get rid of the golden hoe. Um, <laughs> right, I think what we need to do... It, well, first off, I'm going to need some blocks. Oh, let's use this nice new fancy blick, brick. Brick. Blink. Blink. Ah, oh, I fell, managed to connect. Okay, so... Oh, you mean the circle stone. The new one. Yeah, the circle stone. Oh, hold on. Are you going to remove this uh, green stone here? No, 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 no. I'm just going to leave it. I'm just going to use this as a building material. But uh, when I was in the kitchen just now making my tea, I had a thought. Now, you're yeah, going to have to uh, kill off any things that spawn. But I did have a, have a thought as to one way that we could activate this uh, and deactivate this thing I'm not sure if uh, I'll just an experiment here to see if the piston will transfer the power no it won't just say hi to Fell and let him know that we were recording a video. Yeah, I know what you did wrong. You typed his password wrong. Yeah, wrong IP address. I saw him type it into Skype. That's what those squeaks were. Mm. Or a sixth sense, I'm not sure. Right, okay, so we've established one thing, that these new... These new glowstone light blocks are... Ooh, okay. So you can move them with pistons. Right, so what we want to do in that case is we want a way of adding redstone to this piston or rather to this thing so that uh, when it 
does spark up, it gets light. There we go. So, that, with a bit of luck, should be our mob disabler. Especially if we do that, whoops, especially if we do that to it. Okay. So now, when we pull that off, that should spawn us a mob. And it did. <coughs> so, there we go. The rest of it should now just be a case of um, setting this up so that we can release our skeletons at will. So, uh, yeah, uh, uh, I just want to get a shot of this working. Go and, uh, go and pull the switch. Seems like I turn around here. So you flip the switch, it goes dark, and a skeleton spawns. Yeah, if I was you, I'd flip the switch in case you get some more skeletons spawning. Okay, so now it's just a case. There you go. So that <coughs> that disables the spawner. So I think I've actually invented something. There you go. Yeah. There's another version of a trap I've seen, Brian, where a person tunneled out underneath the uh the box right so that the uh the spawn would drop in mm. be washed over into a tunnel and then they would fall down a drop yeah but see in order to, in order to uh, to get the um the rare items you have to actually kill the mob yes but see then the mobs hit the bottom of this this pit and they're basically trapped in a little box and you just basically hit them with your sword and kill them that way Oh, right. Yeah, well, yeah, um, yeah, 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 yeah. And you might have 10 or 15 of them in there at the time, but they're weak now because they fell. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's, that, that comes with later development. Yeah. Basically here, what we've done is um, <coughs> proof of concept of this mechanism here. Mm-hmm. And I think you'll find that is reliable. So, uh, <coughs> okay. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave this one there. I haven't done a video for ages, so I'll keep this one short. <coughs> I don't want people to OD. Um, and uh, I'll put this up there, and then we'll we'll um, develop the rest of it. So that we can uh, do a follow-up later on. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm going I want to. That, I want that moldy uh, cobblestone. If we remove it. Yeah, of course you can have that. Good grief. Right. Uh, or good gravy even. Yeah. So there you, you have it. Did there you, you did have you hear it. Hear that. There you have it. Nice, simple way of disabling a mob spawner when you find it in such a way that you have con complete control over the spawning of your mobs. Awesome. All right, we'll catch you in part two when we've finished building this uh, XP machine. Bye.